Hi, my name is Becky and today we're looking at road and traffic signs, part one of a series of three videos um, as part of your theory test training Q&A session. Um, this particular video has a lot of slides so I do advise you if you can to grab some paper and a pen and jot some notes down. This is going to help you as part of your revision. Okay, so let's get started. Question one. You must obey signs given orders. These signs are mostly A. Green rectangles B. Red triangles C. Blue circles D. Red circles Signs given orders are circles in shape. Most circle signs come with a red ring. This means that it is a negative order. For example, a 30 mile an hour speed limit sign has a red ring, which means you do not go above that speed limit. A no entry sign has a red ring. This means you do not enter. However, some order signs have a background colour of blue. For example, if you see a 30 in a circle blue sign, the blue colour is a positive order, which means that the 30 mile an hour is a minimum speed limit. So your vehicle must be able to drive at or above this limit. Question 2. Traffic signs giving warnings are which shape? A. Triangle B. Circle C. Octagonal D. Rectangle Warning signs are in the shape of triangles. Again, due to the nature of warnings, they have a red border around the sign. Warning road signs are there to warn you of upcoming hazards in the road, like at T-junctions, narrow bridges, fords and pedestrian crossings. Question 3. What does this sign mean? A. End of minimum speed B. Start of maximum speed C. Maximum speed limit of 30 miles an hour. D. End of maximum speed. The blue circle sign with 30 miles an hour in it means that the order is to drive at a minimum 30 miles per hour. The red line indicates the end of the minimum speed limit. Question 4. Signs that give directions are which shape? A. Square rectangle. B. Diamond. C. Triangle D. Circle Rectangle signs and square signs generally give road users directions or information. For example, roundabout signs with directions are square or rectangle. Tourist attraction signs give information are either square or rectangle. Some rectangle or square signs come with either a white background, green background or a blue background. The white background signs usually give local directions, the green background signs usually give town or major destination directions and any blue background signs give information on motorways. Question 5. Which sign means no motor vehicles allowed? A is the national speed limit sign, B is the no entry sign, C is the no overtaking sign and D is the no motor vehicle sign. Question 6. In a one way street you see this sign, what does it mean? A. No entry, B. No stopping, C. Parking restrictions apply, D. No waiting on the left. Very often you will find a no entry sign in a one way street, sometimes in busy and condensed town centres. With the growth of the town and city centres, local councils have to alter terrace streets roads to accommodate and enhance traffic flow. No entry signs are very common in these types of areas because of the one way network. Question 7. What does this sign mean? A. End of 20 miles per hour zone. B. Minimum speed limit of 30 miles per hour zone. C. New speed limit 20 miles per hour. D. No vehicles over 30 tonnes.
The new sign states 30 miles per hour and the crossed out sign is the old 20 miles per hour zone. Therefore, it is the end of the 20 mile an hour zone. Question 8. Brown signs give information on A. Tourism B. Plant tyre C. Residential areas D. Motorway signs Tourism signs are brown and either square or rectangular in shape. Question 9. You may only enter a box junction when A. Your exit road is clear B. If the traffic lights are on green C. Never D. If you are going ahead only You should only enter a box junction if your exit is clear. However, if you are turning right and you are blocked by an oncoming car, then you are permitted to wait in the box area, but only if you're turning right. Question 10. What does this sign mean? A. No motor vehicles allowed. B. No overtaking. C. Overtake on the right only. D. No stopping. No overtaking. Question 11. What does this sign mean? A. Routes for trams only. B. Parking for trams only. C. Parking for buses. D. Route for buses only. Route for trams only. The blue represents a positive action and the circle makes it in order. The picture is of a tram and the word only tells you it is only for the trams indicated and not for other road users. Question 12. What does this sign mean? A. No entry. B. Waiting restrictions apply. C. No turning. D. No U-turn. Do not mix this sign up with the no entry sign. The circular sign means it is an order. The red ring makes it a negative order. Therefore, do not park in the area indicated where the sign is positioned. Waiting restrictions also refers to waiting to pick up, drop off or park. Very often these signs are found in red route areas, clearway areas and busy town and city centres. They can also be seen at the start of a dual carriageway, motorway and some rural roads. Question 13. What does this sign mean? A. Distance to parking ahead. B. One mile to public toilets. C. Distance to passing place. D. Distance to services. The blue is a positive colour and the shape is information. The letter P represents parking and the sign states one mile. The answer is A, distance to one mile to parking. Question 14. What does this sign mean? A. Vehicles may park on the verge or the footway. B. Vehicles may not park on the verge or footway. C. Vehicles may park on the right pavement only. D. Vehicles may park on the left verge only. A vehicle may park on the verge or footpath. As there is no red line, it means you can park as opposed to not parking. Sometimes this can occur, however, most instances and as part of the highway code, most occasions it is not permitted due to safety reasons. Question 15. What does this sign mean? A. Two-way road. B. Give way to oncoming traffic. C. Do not enter. D. Follow the road ahead. This sign means you are coming into a two-way road. The shape of the sign is a triangle, so therefore you are being warned of the upcoming hazard. Usually, this means you are currently in a one-way system about to enter a normal two-way road again. What does this sign mean? A. One-way B. Alternative route C. Make a U-turn D. You may proceed ahead. This is a positive bit of information. You are in a one-way road and need to follow the road ahead.
What does this sign mean? A. Give way to oncoming vehicles. B. Oncoming vehicles must give way to you. C. You must not go ahead. D. Two-way traffic. This is a negative order. The arrows represent the position of the cars. You are the red arrow and the larger black arrow is oncoming traffic. Therefore, you must give way to oncoming traffic. These signs are normally found in urban areas with speed climbing measures. For example, you may have chicanes, road narrowings, preventing the flow of a two-way road. In this instance, you must give way to oncoming vehicles. Question 18. What does this traffic sign with a blue background mean? A. Gives a positive order. B. Directs you to a motorway ahead. C. Gives directions to a car park. D. It's a negative order. This sign gives a positive order. Question 19. Where would you see a contraflow bus and cycle lane? A. On a one-way street. B. On a roundabout. C. On an urban motorway. D. On a dual carriageway. Usually, you will find a bus and cycle contraflow system on a one-way street, typically in busy city and town centres, where the local council is promoting public and eco-friendly transport. Normally, other motor vehicles are directed around another course away from the populated area. Question 20. What does this sign mean? A. Tourist attraction in 150 yards. B. A picnic area only. C. Direction to services. D. Beware of pedestrians ahead. Tourist attraction in 150 yards. Question 21. You see this sign. You are on a single carriageway road driving a car. What is the speed limit? A. 40 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 60 miles per hour. D. 70 miles per hour. In non-built up areas, you will see the national speed limit sign, depending on whether you are on a single or dual carriageway. This is why we have a symbol and not a number, as this means different speeds to different vehicles and road types. However, on a single carriageway, the speed limit for a car user would be 60 miles per hour and 70 miles per hour if you were on a dual carriageway or a motorway. Question 22. You see this sign, you are on a motorway and driving a car. What is the speed limit? A. 40 miles per hour. B. 50 miles per hour. C. 60 miles per hour. D. 70 miles per hour. The national speed limit for cars and motorbikes are the same for both dual carriageways and motorway. The speed limit is 70 miles per hour. Question 23. What is the national speed limit for cars towing a caravan on a single carriageway road? A. 30 miles per hour. B. 40 miles per hour. C. 50 miles per hour. D. 60 miles per hour. If you happen to be towing a vehicle, your speed limit is reduced by 10 miles per hour, whether you are on a single, dual or motorway. Therefore, your speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Question 24. What does this sign mean? A. End of a two-way road. B. Give way to oncoming vehicles. C. You have priority over oncoming vehicles. D. Bus lane ahead. The blue is a positive bit of information. You are the white arrow and the red arrow represents oncoming vehicles. These signs are usually found in speed climbing areas. What does this sign mean? A. Mini roundabout. B. Roundabout. C. One way. D. Give way. This is a mini roundabout sign. Question 26. What does this sign mean? A. Adverse camber. B. Crosswinds. C. Airport. D. Road noise.
This sign is warning you of crosswinds. You should always be extra careful when driving near high-sided vehicles and two-wheeled vehicles. Question 27. What does this sign mean? A. Slippery road. B. Danger ahead. C. Tyres likely to puncture ahead. D. Service area ahead. Danger ahead. This could be a dip in the road or a brow of a hill with potential hazards that are, that are out of sight. Question 28. What does this sign mean? A. End of dual carriageway. B. Road narrows. C. End of narrow bridge. D. Tall bridge. The two lanes come together. It is warning you that the dual carriageway that you are currently on is ending. You need to be particularly careful with overtaking vehicles trying to get past you before the road narrows to a single carriageway. Watch your right hand mirror prior to the narrowing. Question 29. What does this sign mean? A. Water across the road. B. Uneven road surface. C. Bridge over the road. D. Weak bridge. A ford is when you get a light stream of water in the road. This can be made worse by heavy rainfall. Once through the ford, be sure to gently apply your brakes to dry them. Question 30. What does this sign mean? A. Adverse camber. B. Steep hill downhill. C. Uneven road. D. Steep hill uphill. The sign is warning you of the gradient of the road going uphill. It states 10%. So be prepared to face a struggle going upwards. Your car may lose power and you may need to drop down a gear or two to climb the hill. Question 31. What does this sign mean? A. Level crossing with gate or barrier. B. Gated road ahead. C. Level crossing without gate or barrier. D. Cattle grid ahead. Level crossing with gate or barrier. Question 32. What does this sign mean? A. Turn left only. B. No through road on the left. C. No entry for traffic turning left. D. No left turn. There is a no through road on the left hand side. Question 33. What does this sign mean? A. T junction. B. No through road. C. Telephone box ahead. D. No entry. You are approaching a no through road. Question 34. What does this sign mean? A. Pedestrian crossing. B. Pedestrians walking in the road ahead. C. Children nearby. D. Elderly people nearby. You are approaching a pedestrian crossing. This could be a zebra or traffic light control crossing. Question 35. What does this sign mean? Give way to oncoming traffic. B. Approaching traffic can pass you on both sides. C. Pass either side to get to the same destination. D. Turn off at the next exit. You can pass either side to get to the same destination. Very often these signs are found on yellow bollards and in one-way streets. Question 36. Which sign means there is a double bend ahead? A, B, C or D? A means there is a double bend ahead. B means there is a bend to the right, C means there is a bend to the left, and D means end of dual carriageway. Question 37. What does this sign mean? A. Change to the left lane. B. Leave at the next exit. C. Contraflow system. D. One way street. You 
You are in a contraflow system and very often these are in dual carriageways and motorways. Contra, contra means against the flow of. So usually your lane is guided to what is normally the approaching lane. Usually contraflow systems are in place because of roadworks. Question 38. What does this sign mean? A. Ring road. B. Roundabout. C. No through route zone. D. No parking zone. You are in a ring road system. Very often, busy town and city centres will navigate traffic around the town and city to stop traffic congestion in the town. They comprise of dual carriageways and roundabouts. Question 39. What does this sign mean? A. Stop at white line. B. Only stop if there's traffic coming. C. It is compulsory. D. This is not compulsory. You must stop at the white line. It is a legal requirement. If you do not stop and are caught, you may face fines and prosecution. Question 40. What defines a dual carriageway? A. The dual carriageway has two lanes. B. The dual carriageway has three lanes. C. The dual carriageway is two lanes without central reservation. D. The dual carriageway has a central re reservation. A road defined as a dual carriageway is a road that has a central reservation. This means you will have a metal barrier or a strip of land separating you from the oncoming traffic. A dual carriageway is not defined by how many lanes there are. You can be on a dual carriageway with one lane, two lanes, three lanes and sometimes even four lanes. Do not confuse two lane roads as dual carriageways. If it doesn't have a central reservation, it is a single carriageway road and not indeed a dual carriageway. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it educational and made some lots of notes during your session this time. Uh, be sure to check out our next video, part two and part three on road signs and markings. Um, please leave a comment in the section below this video and be sure to sign up to our driving test tips over at learnerpod or lpodacademy.co.uk. Until next time, see you soon. Bye.